Okay, so, <clears throat> boy, that started off rough. This is going to be a rough deck, I'm going to assume. So this is the, the back of the card. Um, they're all like that. It's, a, it's part of a collection of five. So toxic one, two, three, four, and five. And then every time you, the very first card, when you turn it over, is um, the same as on the back side. So I always know this is the first card because it looks the same. Um, and I did not number these. So uh, my the ones I'm creating now, I do like to put numbers on them for some reason. I don't know. But these were not numbered. So um, anyway, I will just go through and read them. It is a little late tonight. I think it's 1140. It might be midnight. Both of my daughters are asleep. Oh no, she's not asleep. But um, and I'm just kind of I was just in between making videos, so of course I'm having a smoke. I don't really care if I do a video where I'm presenting these cards um, while having a green tea smoke. Like to me, that doesn't make it any less or more professional. I am who I am, and uh, back in the day. Um, the 1920s, when I lived then, I would be in a speakeasy, and that's where I would have been doing my business. Um, and if we go back further than that, I would have been in a brothel. I, at some point in this lifetime, will own a nightclub. And yes, they don't allow smoking anymore, but 20 years ago in the clubs, when I was clubbing as a younger girl, um, in my 20s, they did allow smoking. So in bars and in restaurants. So now it's like this big no-no and you're not professional if you smoke, but um, I don't really care. I do what I do and it's not a matter of whether I'm professional or not. That's one word to label somebody. It's a little bit of a triggering word to me because I got kicked out of a high-end mastermind because of using the word fuck you know I said cigarettes fucked me up so I quit cigarettes nicotine and tobacco cigarettes but when I was creating this deck I was on a lot of them I was smoking two packs a day so um, from the time of making this video I quit about mm, I quit around my birthday February 24th and so today it is May 1st so I quit like I don't know when that was. I can't do the math right now. You do the math. I don't know. It could be 60 days. I don't think that adds up right. So all of April, all of May. So it's about been about 60, 66 days of not having American spirits, not even a single American spirit cigarette. Um, so yeah, just these, these uh, naked green tea. So it's just, you know, you, you get used to doing something for three years and it takes a while to get off that habit. All right, let's dig into this, this deck. Out of the Toxic Collection, I think this is really the only one that's wearing lingerie. So um, this one would really go along with our... Um, sexual healing for this month um, that I'll be digging deeper into um, probably more like wearing this wig and this character um, I don't know if pure hope will be coming in to like do any of that but um, I'll, I'm just going to grab some cards and start going through them in the order that if you were to buy this deck that you would see them this is probably the only time they're going to be in this order because once I start playing with them, they're going to get all mixed up. So the whole theme of this one is keep your cock in your pants. So there's 160 cards in this deck. So literally, I'm going to say that phrase 159 times right now. Um, 
So uh, if you want to talk about this is a relationship oracle, but it's really a relationship boundaries oracle. Um, this is a very good way of clarifying what you will and will not put up with when it comes to men. So, um, so yeah, let me get started. If you are single, but not available, keep your cock in your pants. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to show each card. If you have to get high to be with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you have to drink to be with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you aren't really attracted to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to deny you've ever been with her, keep your cock in your pants. If she's not sexy enough to you, keep your cock in your pants. If you are only going after her boobs, keep your cock in your pants. If you think her boobs aren't big enough, keep your cock in your pants. If you're only going after her butt, keep your cock in your pants. If you think her butt is not big enough, keep your cock in your pants. If you make her feel insecure about her body, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to put her down, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to treat her like a slut, keep your cock in your pants. If you just want a yes girl, keep your cock in your pants. If you're just looking for a sex slave, keep your cock in your pants. If you just want to control her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to gaslight her, keep your cock in your pants. If you want to manipulate her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're a narcissist, Keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to be your little slut, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to be your secret, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to keep you a secret, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want her to talk about you, Keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to lie for you, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to hide your secrets, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to keep silent, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her to cover for you, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to play games with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to break her heart, keep your cock in your pants. Now to clarify, it would be toxic games. So I suppose I could have said that because, hey, we all want a guy that's going to play games with us, but healthy games, fun games, sex games business building games, house building games, but not toxic, fucked up games, not games where they lie about what they're doing. Um, obviously this came from a wounded female and that wounded female was me. 
So it's, uh, it's kind of repetitive in a way, but sometimes we have to be repetitive and we have to say over and over and over to ourselves, I do not want this. Now, that is not a way to manifest what you want, but it is a way to say what you don't want. Some would say that if you put focus on what you don't want, you'll end up attracting that into your life, but I am not attracting that into my life. And uh, I created all of these and I stated, this is what I do not want. And that's what I teach in my programs as well. We start with, what do you not want? You make a list of everything that you do not want. And then you start creating the list of everything that you do want. So I feel there's a place, time and place for everything. And you have to start with what you don't want. Um, we're not necessarily born knowing how to manifest. Maybe we, maybe we are, but we can't talk at that time. And so we might lose our ability to, it's not about that. I just, I just, you know, I feel like maybe if you're born a star seed, um, you have like this insight and you know why you're here. And then it's like, you lose that knowledge. And so maybe as a, a baby, when you're innocent, you might know some things, but you can't communicate. You can't walk. You can't do anything. And really, that's not even true. I mean, if you're looking at it from a spiritual point of view, maybe. But um, cognitive thinking in children doesn't really develop until they're like 14. Um, so there's so much about the human race um, that we've researched. Um, so... Um, I know how to manifest and I do manifest and these cards are from our toxic connection collection whatever toxic connection collection <laughs> um, but um, I like to shine light on the darkness so some might think that these are really toxic to be saying this over and over but um, it's just where I was and I'm sharing my journey and this is what I needed to do to be able to create the programs that I am now creating like Manifest a Pure Lover and uh, My Passionate Lover and um, The Pure Lovers. So those are three different programs that I'm creating for different levels. We're also working on a Kiss Challenge so all of that happiness and all the happy stuff that I'm creating came after doing this deck, after doing all these decks, like literally at this point of making this video, um, to date since the end of January, 2024, I have started 40 different Oracle decks and I'm sharing uh, our first collection, but I have a box of 11 different Oracle decks that came from the printers that I waited like 30 days to get. But uh, I have others that I'm still working on, so we plan to have about 40 Oracle decks released. And as we go, and more of the toxic stuff comes out, more of the like, this is not what I want, I don't want this, this hurt me, this is how I felt, all of those emotions. As all of that starts to come out more and more and more, and that's released from my body, from your body, from our bodies, that's when you're not all filled up with the toxic stuff and you can start pouring in the not toxic stuff you can start receiving from a lover who wants to treat you right so i felt that this was a very important deck for me to make and even though it seems repetitive and kind of like silly it's not i really mean it if you're going to do any of this negative stuff if you're going to do any of the stuff that hurts a woman keep your cock in your pants and so I'm going to keep going with this deck 
but just wanted to kind of clarify that as a woman, as a wounded female who's rising up, who's eliminating that kind of energy in my life and has eliminated it. Um, and so there's no more coming in, but I'm still, I was, when I made this, I was holding on to it and I'm still releasing it. And even when I flash back and I read them now, I'm like, I'm still like, I'm like, this hurts. Um, and it might also be that I'm tired and I'm making this deck when I'm tired, but look, it's appropriate for me to be doing this video right now. It's divine timing. It's perfect timing. As I look at these girls that are all, you know, in lingerie, chained up, this is a perfect example of our relationship coach, Pure Faith. She's a relationship coach, but she really, she really deals with toxic relationships and getting people out of them and into a good, healthy relationship. So, <clears throat> so the chains and the look on her face, there's no smiles and there's little bits of blood sometimes on her face. It's really appropriate. So even my lower energy right now where I'm kind of tired, um, matches this. So if you're going to lie to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to steal from her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to betray her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're going to cheat on her, keep your cock in your pants. If you think you can find someone better, keep your cock in your pants. If you have no interest in pleasing her, keep your cock in your pants. If you're a toxic MF, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't have a bedroom, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't share your bed with her, keep your cock in your pants. This is kind of a similar deck to, um, I can't remember which one, but one of the other toxic ones. Um, and it says, I don't want a man who dot, dot, dot. And I think one of the cards is doesn't let me sleep in his bed. A huge trigger huge trigger for me. If you've ever been through that, you know how bad that hurts for a man to, to fuck you, to stick his cock in you, but then not do anything else <clears throat> that's part of a relationship. Like it's, it's not right. Like men that treat women that way <clears throat> and do that need to be educated on it's wrong. It's not divine. And, um, you can keep on doing that and you can keep living your life that way. And, um, I've seen firsthand where it gets a man, you know, it gets him on his deathbed. So, um, he doesn't have any divine feminines around him to help him anymore. All he has is hood girls that can't do shit for him. So, you know, he sacrificed a relationship with a good girl to just get his cock sucked or to just put his cock in whoever. So, um, that's fine. That girl, those girls, they're not making Oracle decks. They're not making videos. They don't have a YouTube channel. They're not standing up for other women. They're not standing up for themselves. They're just letting him use and abuse them. So, um, you know, if they stood up and they said the same thing that I'm saying, and if we all did, maybe men would change. Maybe men would rise maybe this world would be a better place. If you don't want her staying the night, keep your cock in your pants. If you couldn't imagine waking up to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't cuddle her after sex, keep your cock in your pants. So this deck is sexier. She's all wearing lingerie. The other one, she wasn't wearing lingerie. So even though she might've said a little bit similar stuff, it was presented a little bit different and there wasn't the lingerie and the chains. If you can't kiss her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't hold her hand, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't hug her, keep your cock in your pants. If she annoys you all the time, keep your cock 
in your pants. If you don't really like her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't care about her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't really love her, keep your cock in your pants. Now what can happen in these kind of connections is the woman will totally pull away no matter how much she loves the guy and she will not allow him back in. So he will be forced to keep his cock in his pants. And when that happens and it was supposed to be a connection where you were sharing assets and sharing secrets and sharing your body and all of the stuff that you were supposed to be doing and sharing along with sex, she takes all that away. She takes everything away. When she takes away the sex, and it's not that she's taken it away, it's she no longer has an interest in being with that person in that way because of all this betrayal. All of these things that that man did and could not do, could not do while he was with her. So she no longer shows, shares her body. She no longer shares her time. She no longer shares money. She no longer shares her dreams. She no longer shares anything with him. She no longer is there by his side when he calls. She's no longer there bringing him food. She's no longer there calling or when he calls to say he got beat up. She no longer, her heart is turned off. They no longer share that connection. They're not sharing a connection for her heart to be turned on to him. Her body's no longer turned on because of everything he's said. It goes both ways as well. So if you can't say, I love you to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want anything with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see living with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see a future with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you hate her, keep your cock in your pants. If you wish bad upon her, keep your cock in your pants. If you talk shit behind her back, keep your cock in your pants. If you wish her dead, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she's an evil witch, keep your cock in your pants. If she's the ugliest girl in the world, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she's just a bitch, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she's just a slut, keep your cock in your pants. This is on all levels. No blowjobs, no sex. Keep your cock in your pants. All right, this is my second pile. <clears throat> if you think she is a hoe, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she is a prostitute, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she is a whore, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she's not old enough, keep your cock in your pants. <clears throat> if you think she's too old, keep your cock in your pants. If you like younger girls, keep your cock in your pants. If you want a younger girl, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't trust her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't be trusted, keep your cock in your pants. If you have a girlfriend, keep your cock in your pants. If you have a wife, keep your cock in your pants. If you're in love with someone else, Keep your cock in your pants. If you aren't over your ex, keep your cock in your pants. If you have a pregnant girlfriend, keep your cock in your pants. If you have a pregnant wife, keep your cock in your pants. If you're looking for threesomes, keep your cock in your pants. If you want her female friends, keep your cock in your pants. If you're talking to girls online, keep your cock in your pants. Now this specifically applies to a divine feminine. Like don't talk to her. 
if this is you, if you're if you're a man and you're doing any of this, don't talk to her. So um, I'll, I'll do that clarifying card um, that I forgot to do, and then I'll do a description on the actual page about this. And this is for readers to use. It's supposed to be. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. This is like my most serious deck. So um, I will be using it for sure on Instagram. If you get other girls numbers, keep your cock in your pants. If you're hanging out with hood girls, keep your cock in your pants. If you're fucking other girls, keep your cock in your pants. If you flirt with other girls, keep your cock in your pants. If you want a harem of girls, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't show her your phone, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't see her as your one and only, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't imagine being one, if you can't imagine being with one girl, keep your cock in your pants. If you're addicted to porn, keep your cock in your pants. If she is only a friend, keep your cock in your pants. If you're just using her for BJ's or sex, keep your cock in your pants. If you just need a meal, keep your cock in your pants. If you just need a ride, keep your cock in your pants. If you just want money from her, keep your cock in your pants. If you won't tell other girls you're taken, keep your cock in your pants. If you won't commit to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you won't give her a title, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't know her very well, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't know how you feel about her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't keep your promises, keep your cock in your pants. If you just want her to buy you stuff, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't be honest with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't communicate for real with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you just, if you want to just hang out every day, keep your cock in your pants. If you're a thief, keep your cock in your pants. If you're a habitual liar, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to grow up, keep your cock in your pants. If you're just a playboy, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't make your own money, keep your cock in your pants. Deck number three. Like I said, 160 in here. Now, I usually divide out my decks, so there are 53 in a deck now. So this was three piles of 53. Um, but this is one long one, and I couldn't really separate it out because I wasn't in that place to separate it out. So, yeah, sometimes they're long, sometimes takes a lot to get it out. If you aren't responsible, keep your cock in your pants. If you aren't a good dad, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see your kids, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't provide for your kids, keep your cock in your pants. If you have no goals and dreams, keep your cock in your pants. Now I can apply this to any lover that I have in the future and I can go through all of these and I can be like, hmm, does he have goals? Does he have dreams? Does he have a job? Does he have a car? Is he looking for a girl by his side? Does he take care of his kids? Do his kids live with him? You know, all of this, I can go through all of this and now it's not just for me to go through all of this. This is for anybody, anybody who wants to use a deck like this, this is a clarifying what you do want, what you don't want, so that you can attract in what you do want. 
So um, it's just making me think of uh, a lover in New York, younger guy, who has been reaching out and wants to share some, um, wants to make love. And he was good at it, you know, making love, fucking, whatever. It was a combination of our energies together. Um, and I haven't completely decided yet again, like if I want to do that over the summer, but, um, going through this deck right now makes me think about that, you know, like, yes, he has four children. All four of his children live with him. He's single. I don't know if he's with anybody right now. He says he masturbates all the time or he self pleasures all the time. So probably not with anybody. Um, does he watch porn? I don't know. I'm going to ask about that. Does he want to make porn? Yes. <laughs> so, um, it's just like, it's things going through my head, you know, even though this deck was written from, because it was inspired by bad treatment from a guy that I met on Tinder. Um, it doesn't mean that I can't think about it and apply it to other relationships in the future. Um, but I'm saying that cause I'm self-reflecting right now. This deck is for sale. It will be on my website. It is for other readers to use, um, whether somebody wants to self heal, read with clients or use it on YouTube. And then we also will have an option of making your own deck. So this would be a really good deck to make for somebody. Um, they could keep that keep your cock in your pants. Maybe I, maybe I should even make this template available on, um, Canva. That's how I make my cards. Maybe I should make that available and they can fill it in the blank, but I don't know, you know, um, there's several different decks that I would like to focus on people making. So, um, we have an ultimatum deck as well. And, ultimatum is written in a different way and it's a little more manifesting. Um, but it took, it took making all the toxic ones to get to the ultimatum one. So, um, if you can't commit to your dreams, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to support her dreams, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to co-create with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you think she's, if you think her talking back is arguing, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't really listen to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't care about her feelings, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to be part of her life, Keep your cock in your pants. If you can't tell her she's pretty, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't be kind to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't take sexy photos of her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't help with her business, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't sit next to her in the car, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't put her arm around her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't sit next to her on the couch, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't watch a movie with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't take her on a date, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't be romantic with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't take her to a nice dinner, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't take her to a fancy hotel, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't give her anything, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't give fairly to her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't spend quality time with her, keep your cock in your pants. 
if she doesn't mean the world to you, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see traveling with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't help her move, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't think about her every day, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see living with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't see, be seen in public with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to meet, if you don't want her to meet your family, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want her to meet your friends, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want her to be around your kids, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't like that she has kids, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want kids with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you'd want her to get an abortion, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't or can't be around her kids, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see fixing a house with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see buying a house with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see building a house with her, Keep your cock in your pants. If you don't see buying land with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to stand beside her, keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to create a life with her, keep your cock in your pants. If you couldn't imagine marrying her, keep your cock in your pants. Just a few more here. If you can't go on adventures with her, Keep your cock in your pants. If you don't want to take care of her, keep your cock in your pants. If you can't build a business with her, keep your cock in your pants. Just two more, the last two. <sighs> if you can't be with her until death, keep your cock in your pants. And the very last one. I think this was the last one. I might have gotten those two out of order. And if you don't want to grow old with her, keep your cock in your pants. <laughs>